Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Ko Tetsu Steel here, back with another episode of Stone Hearth. Man, what to say. First off, so I was playing Alpha 10 before without realizing that Alpha 10.5 is out, and so now I'm playing Alpha 10.5, which of course means that my saves do not work. They are now incompatible, so I actually spent earlier today and a little bit last night of rebuilding a town and actually just five minutes ago I tried recording like a 30 minute video of me talking about this town and building some stuff up and after I looked at it it did not have any sound. Now as much fun as it would be for you just to kind of do ad-lib and be like what is Kotetsu Steel saying here? Uh, there was also no game sound which is really weird and so, here I am, I'm back, and hopefully it'll work this time. I think I got it working, I think I had to wait a few seconds before I pressed a button. I'm not sure how it actually works, or maybe it was just a glitch with that one time. It's only happened the once. But anyway, so here's my new town. It is Hipshire the Third, And Hipshire the Third is obviously the third rendition of Hipshire, or Hipshire, however you want to pronounce it. And so we have one of our original buildings here, the Exnus, which is kind of just our sleeping quarters. And then we have, from last time, we have our bar. It's a little different. I think I have the opening on that side last time, and I have it over here this time. But it has the food here, and it has the place of eating, I guess, tables and stuff. And really the main thing that I'm liking about this town is the fact that I have gotten like these towers and the walls set up here where you know I have the double door so that's kind of my gate and then I have it lit up I haven't finished this one over here yet but I do have a tower braz bra brazer bra brazier brazer sure I'm not actually how sh how bleh. I'm not actually sure how to pronounce that and so for now, we're just going to call them bras. Let's see, if you make me six wooden swords, I'll be back in three days. Two curtains for... No, I'm lazy. Okay, so they are also in the process of trying to build up this wall over here. And so that's great. And then they're also up here mining a whole bunch of stuff. Let's see what's going on in here. Yeah, they are mining a whole bunch. Look at all this ore that I'm getting. I am okay with that. So we'll go ahead and have them loot all that. Cool. And get out of X-Ray. And then we'll go daily update. Just need more net worth, which will go up as we build these walls, as we put in doors, as we put in more bras. And so let's go ahead and... Okay, so they're still building this, and then this is going to be built next. And so how I have it set up here is that I actually have doors... Man, people are just coming to my town left and right. I don't actually need any of this stuff right now. Um, okay, so yeah, I have these doors so they can come in freely. On the inside here, I actually have this door that's on the inside of the walls, and then it can come in, go up the ladder, go up the ladder, and then they can chill up here, and they can go in between the towers by going up across here, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, so... It's really more for aesthetics. It's more pleasing to the eye to be like this. It's not so much about functionality, because none of them are going to go up here and go in between these doors. Did I make this too short? Is there something weird about this? I feel like there's something weird about this. Maybe? No, okay, it's just the uh, wall in the way? Why do I feel like that's... That is weird. That's weird, right? That's not tall enough. Whatever, they can get through the door. Anyway. Hmm. Right? So that's there. The inside. Okay, yeah, the door is off. Like, they have to be children to get through here, or... Okay. Sure. Maybe there's dwarves and gnomes in this game, and it'd be great. So. But yeah, they can walk through there. Someday, maybe there'll be archers. And I can remake this, and they can chill up there. I can set the rally point. But uh, I didn't actually put a gate on this side, because I figured this one was close enough anyway. And I don't want 
I actually get attacked by goblins and stuff from over here a lot, so I figured I would just leave this kind of solid so they can't do anything. And okay, sorry about that. I actually had a whole string of errors, and so I had to kind of save and reload the game here. And hmm. What were we doing? I don't know. I feel like we were talking about how a boat. Wow. You can really tell that I'm pretty close to the Canadian border. I have uh, taken upon my I've taken it upon myself to sound like the natives. And okay. So why has nobody picked up any of these cloth? That's starting to annoy me actually. Pick those up. Do it. And these are just chilling here too. I could use those at some point. What is this doing here? Um, what else is there? There's a whole bunch of berries over here that you guys could get. I feel like I'm overwhelming you guys. But yeah, so let's see... Was this the place? Maybe it is. Can't tell. It's so dug out now? Huh. Can't really tell the difference between the dug out part and the not dug out part. But if we do the x-ray... Oh yeah, this is definitely the spot. Okay. Wow. And I thought this was a wall right here. But it's actually... Okay, well... <laughs> I understand what you're doing with the shadows here, but technically there should be no shadow... Moving shadows inside there, just because this is all covered. And so I guess, yeah. I mean, it makes sense, but it also doesn't. And... These berries again, man. Berries for days. Okay, and how is this coming over here? That's doing pretty good. While they're doing that, I'm going to make the other version of this over here, if I can remember how I did it. I think I just put another base. Yeah, like a foundation. And so we'll do that. Or maybe no, I think it was just this. Okay, so it was this color. Bam. And then I use this color for the actual corners and stuff. Where did I put that? So from the middle, it was, it was in the middle and then two over. So I need to, so middle, one, two, bam. That'll be how they actually get up there. And we will put, was it two or did we do three on the edges? We did three, okay. That makes more sense. That looks a little better, I think. And so it was too high. Three by three. Was it two? Yeah, it was two. Okay. And three. Three. Boom. Chapow. And then this was just one tall. I think. Yeah. Like that. And then they'll build that. And I'll be able to put another bras up there. Look at that. Look at that. You can see it from way over here. Actually, you can see the campfire more, which is a little awkward. Alright. Did you guys... Yeah, they put those up there, too. I like how those are there. Alright. And those are up there. And you guys are almost done over here. Cool. I think I'll wait for them to get done with that before I actually tell them to build this part. So finished editing. Come on. You can do it. So close. You missed a spot. Oh, we have enemies coming, though. Okay, you guys are done with that. Yes, yeah, invader sighted. Haha, they can't... Oh, well, don't open the door for them. Oh, the door's not even in there. Crap! Okay. Let's uh, make a door while they're inching their way over, I guess. Uh, those are the big doors, right? Yeah. Two of those... Haha, <laughs> he has to go all the way around this. Come on. You guys are so slow. I mean, I'm grateful for that, but also, come on. Oh, they can't even hurt you. Stop being a baby. Um. Oh, bye. <laughs> it became daytime. <laughs> Alright. So, as you guys noticed, I kind of have this moat going right here. So, if you actually dig like a channel or canal or something, 
you can have the water go that way. Because the water actually acts like water in this game, which is pretty cool. It's not like, uh, it's not static, it's dynamic. And I don't care about your food. So I actually have this moat here with, you know, the bridge. I kind of screwed up with that part, but don't look at that. Look at that part. Look at it. Okay, daily update. Okay, we're getting there. And then it goes all the way around. So yeah, it kind of keeps the first line of defense, I guess. I kind of wish I could put like alligators or something in there, maybe a spike trap. Maybe just some rabid weasels. Um, yeah. Okay, so they're done with that. Are you guys going to go over here and start building this? Or are you going to make me a liar? Build. Boom. There we go. Now they have the little silhouettes of the ladders, which means they're about to go over there and do their thing. I guess while they're doing that, I'm going to... Hmm. Not that. Not that. I'll just keep on clicking everything until I find it, I guess. And instead of going further back, I think I'll go over more. So they can dig that. And hopefully we'll get some more stone and... Oh, clicked too many times. Let's see what else we can make here. How How's our ore looking? Can we make anything more? We'll make some more iron, and copper, and silver, and tin. Okay. So we'll have you do that, Gareth. What was it, 310? Something like that. Um, let's go ahead and make some steel. Because we'll need that for... I lied. What did we need that for? Oh. Uh, full plate mail, which is at unlock at level 4, which is a ways away. Oh, we need it for the shield, though, too. Okay. Cool. Trapper level 5. Holy crap. What does that even do for us? Um, oh, cool. You have a increased backpack. Traps now lure in and hold larger prey. What are we, bear hunting? Lay special trapping zones to deter inquisitive neighbors. Interesting. Um, so what do we have here? Speed up. Charm pet. That's why we have a little squirrel around somewhere. I don't know what happened to him. Oh, there he is. Pet squirrel. Befriended by Yufa. And so we could release him if we wanted. That was a very funky looking squirrel. Look at me. <laughs> Skittish little guy. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Well, that wall's all done. How's this going over here? Ah, they're building it. Cool. Is there anything else that I can really do at the moment? I probably should start... Do we have a lot of wood? I guess we're, we have quite a bit of wood. Nine oak logs. Yeah, we can get rid of these oak logs and get some cathedral perch chairs. Yeah. Increase our... It's, uh, looking here. We put them right there, I guess. That'll increase our worth. So... Oh. We have to grab them first. Right. Oh, and they, they are. So we'll just put them right here, I guess. Boom. Boom. And boom. Um, did we need more beds? We probably need, like, a, another place for people to sleep. So maybe I'll make it right over here. I don't even know what I want to build, though. Let's see. Design. I'll press F5. Get this error. I don't even know what this is for. Building component. Luck. 114. <laughs> okay. Sure. I don't speak that language. I only speak English and Japanese. Sorry. Uh, so we'll go ahead and... Hmm. What color do we want the floor? I guess it doesn't really matter. So we'll just build it like right there. Um, hmm. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe this squirrel will move? I don't know. Tune in next time.
Uh, let's see. And then wall. What color of wall do we want? We want... Maybe we'll just have it be like a... Well, I don't know if I like that color. Column. Need to be wood. What do I want to do with this, though? Do I want to try making a second floor? I don't know. You know what? I think I'll give it a little bit of kind of a flare off this way. So four and four. So seven by seven. So we'll just have it flare off that way a little bit. Wait, that's... There we go. That's symmetrical. And I don't know. Maybe we'll put some storage stuff in there so we don't have all this crap out here. Storage stuff that they might actually need. Put the door on. If I can see the door. Come on, show me your doorness. What size do we need? That's too big. Is that the right size? Alright, Goldilocks. And I guess we just put a roof on. And we need. What, what are you doing? Stop it. Which side is south? Is that that way? Oh, there we go. East. Mm, that looks kind of funky over there, though. I don't know if I like that. Let's do a brew, brew roof. <laughs> oh, okay. That's why. That's why it's blue. We'll just have all of the... There we go. That looks pretty cool. The blue roof. And... Okay, how are you guys doing over here? Uh, why are you giving me more errors? Stop it. So they just need that last little bit. Who's going to do it? Who is going... Wait, what are you doing? Stop. Oh, you're building up. I thought you were tearing it down. Who's going to do it? Who's going to drive that nail in the coffin? Any good stuff for me? Hmm, maybe I should sell some crap. It's going to be you. It's going to be you. And we don't really have all that much crap to sell. And we have these stone benches that I don't even care about. Although I guess I can put them, I don't know, next to the fire or something? Okay, so you guys are all done with that. What is this? Why do you keep on giving me an error? So we'll go ahead and build this. So you guys can have more places to sleep. Let's see, can I build like a comfy bed? Yeah. Do I have a lot of... I do have a lot of cloth. So we'll go ahead and build like, what, four? Sure. And... Do, do, do. Actually, if I build a whole bunch of these shields, I could sell those. Because they're worth like 20-something gold each. Daily update. Oh, hey, we made it. So we have Jebediah. Jebediah Hawk has joined us. Hmm. And so, who do I want? I don't know. I like having the workers just because it gets stuff done. But, uh, okay, you guys are all chopping, chopping, mining away up here. Let's see what we got. Cool. We have a lot of stuff up here stone, which I need, and all this ore, which I need. Me. Give me all your ore. Okay, so we'll hop out of there. Alright, well we need a bra bras. We need bras up there. So we'll go ahead and first build a little ladder so we can get up. Boom. And then we'll put our our is that the middle? I always have trouble with middle. Middle, 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 middle. Yeah, okay. Um, what do I want to do with these stone things, though? God, that would be so awkward and hard to, like, count out how many exactly I need to put them across there. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I need to put two of those things in front of there, though. I need to... Uh, no! Mason, come back! Was Gareth the Mason? 
I think he was. Uh, let's see. At some point, you were the Weaver and the Mason, and now you're the Blacksmith. Okay. Um, I guess I'll make one of the new dudes into something. Maybe I will make you into the Mason. Man, I have so much crap here. I don't even know where and how to store it. Maybe I can put it under, like, in the ground somewhere. I could do that. Just, like, dig straight down and then make a huge... Man, it actually sounds like a good idea. Okay. Let's do that. So, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start digging maybe about right here. And we'll just make it too wide. We don't need that many people. Go down at once. So dig that. Yeah. You gotta get that one? Okay. <laughs> Guys? Jeez. And the winner of That's Not My Job award. So we'll just have it slowly go down, like step by step. Day by day. And then I guess we'll just clear it out somehow. I mean, it might take a little finagling. Is this the next step down? I can't actually tell. It's one, two, three, bleh. okay. You guys can do it. I believe in you. So we're all done with that. They're building that. Um, guys, seriously. All right, Mr. T, thanks. Oops, did I do that wrong, right? Oh, I think I made it too far into that way. Whatever. Let's see, at what point is it tall enough that they can just walk in there? Let's see, can I maybe like great, oops. So maybe here? Oh, I missed the caravan. Oh well. I don't think it shows it here. Oh yeah, okay it is. Um, sure. So let's see here. Dig this out a little more. Oh! That was weird. Okay, can I slice it so it's like a little bit easier to see? Go down. Actually, maybe x-ray? Oh yeah, that makes, makes it so much easier. Okay. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, is this tall enough that you guys can actually walk through? Can you hit that one up there? Okay, cool. So I guess this is... Maybe we'll start by doing a six by six. Six by six. Six by six. Six. Can I count? There we go. All right. So I don't actually know. <laughs> Maybe I can just do the big one. Maybe that'll be better. <laughs> Mine tunnel. Is that underground? Is that... Yeah, I guess it is. Okay, well, we'll see how this turns out. If they get caught down there, I'm blaming you. Yeah, looks like they're doing it. Whoa. Just teleported again. For the survivalist, I don't really need anything of yours. Um, I can sell my shields, though. I made one, two, three. How's it coming, guys? Looking pretty good. Put some kind of storage down here. Is that both four by four? No, you guys aren't done yet. Okay. Well, I'm actually going to call the episode here. 
and uh, I'll come back next time with this kind of all dug out and ready to go. And, uh, you know, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys, you know, taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. Go ahead and leave a comment below if you would like me to try and design something. If you would, uh, you know, want me to try a certain thing where you're like, why are you doing that? Um, yeah, go ahead and like the video if you like liked the video. Oh, what's going on over here? Why is it? Oh, that's my my moat. And yeah, if you want to see more of Stonehearth, go ahead and like the video and uh, go ahead and leave a comment too if you're like, wow, this is really cool. Wow, why is this teleporting? But yeah. Um, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.